Hello everyone, welcome to another cash stuffing video for February. This is going to be my second cash stuffing video and if you're interested in watching my first one, I will link it up above. As usual, I'm going to go ahead and pull up my cash stuffing budget key through my bullet journal as well as open up my monthly cash stuffing page. If you're interested in what I put in the key and how I did this, please let me know down below. I'd be more than happy to show you guys. I am still looking for bullet journalers who are cash stuffing, but I am failing to find people. So if you guys have any recommendations, please link them down below and tag their at so that I can check them out. Anyway, how are you guys doing today? I'm currently filming this on February 12th, 2023. I forgot how much we're cash stuffing today, so I'm going to count it again if that's okay. I'm not sure what you guys prefer, but I like counting it in the beginning. We're going to start with the ones today. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I'm pretty sure that's 24. Let me recount again. Yep, 24. Now let's move forward to the fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Again, how are you guys doing today? Do you guys have any plans for Valentine's Day? 10, 20, 30, 40. My husband and I don't really have any plans for Valentine's Day despite it being our anniversary 20 40 60 80 100 20 40 60 80 that's 180 and i think this video might go up after valentine's day so i guess the question is gonna be invalid here's just a 50 dollar bill if you guys did anything fun in valentine's day let me know but here's one two three four hundred dollars we don't really celebrate valentine's day because it's so busy so we normally celebrate the day after but here we have $729 to cash stuff today. Again, I'm really new to cash stuffing. So if you guys have any tips on making this easier and keeping me accountable, please share them down below as well. Now that we have our total, let's get started cash stuffing our binders. So as usual, we're going to start with my variables binder. I added a few envelopes to my binders. So I just wanted to show you guys. This first one that I added is my bank envelope, I believe. I wanted to have an envelope for the cash that I want to take back to the bank. So I figured this would be a pretty useful envelope for me and it has been useful in the past. I also have an income envelope, but that's just when my husband gets paid with cash. Anyway, groceries is gonna get stuffed today. I think it's gonna get stuffed 100, no 200. We're getting ready for March, and March has so many birthdays. Oh my gosh, look at this $100 bill. It's like someone chewed on it. But yeah, it's still money, so... Anyway, like I said, there's going to be a lot of birthdays for March. So we're probably going to start hosting a lot. But that's $100, $200, $300 for groceries. From my first cash stuffing video, I shared how it's really hard for me to use cash and just transitioning from using card all the time to cash is really difficult for me but hopefully i get there someday eating out will not get anything gas will not get anything my husband will not get anything personal will not get anything and this is just my emergency slash tips binder and my receipts folder i keep saying binder but i mean to say envelope Okay, we're done with this binder, so now we're going to move on to my bills slash sinking funds binder. Right now, this is my favorite binder because it has the most <laughs> envelopes in it, and it makes me excited to see it. I will be cash stuffing a lot of envelopes in this one, and tithes will be getting $20 today. I was supposed to give my tithes last Sunday, but I completely forgot this binder at home. So I decided I'm just going to do it at the end of every month. So like I said, $20 will be added to tithes. So that makes it, let's see, 100, 150, 170, 171, 172 dollars. And as I said, I'm just going to tithe this at the end of the month. 
Okay, moving on, we're gonna go to subscription. Subscriptions is gonna get $70 today and that's because everything comes out around the 16th of February. So let's see what's in here. Oh, I think my ring subscriptions are in here, which is $3 until the end of the year. So let's see, subscriptions will have 50, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76 dollars for subscriptions. I might go ahead and take this to the bank. Yeah, I might take this to the bank um, and just deposit it in my account. We'll see. Okay, moving on. Mortgage is not going to get anything because we just paid that off. Bills is going to get, oh, it's not going to get anything either. Yeah, mortgage and bills are not going to get anything. I'm just double checking on my bullet journal if these envelopes are good. Yep, we can move on to phone bill. And phone bill will get $42 today. It's due on the 25th and I pay every three months. So... <sighs> I think I will also go ahead and just put this in the bank. I'm not sure. We'll see. It's really affordable and I don't know of any other phone plans that are this cheap, honestly. And they use AT&T towers. Uh, let's see how much is in phone bill now. So that's 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 91, 92. $92 for phone bill. Yeah, I think I'm going to put this in the bank along with my subscriptions. I will just make a note of that here when I rewatch the video. <laughs> my husband right now is still in his parents' phone plan and we're not planning anytime soon to take him out of it. So I'm glad that we don't have to worry about that car insurance will not get anything credit card will not get anything home today is going to get thirty dollars this is my first time cash stuffing this envelope i'm not really sure what i'm saving up for but i'm just saving up for a rainy day if no maintenance things need to happen for the home i might be tempted to save up for a couch a new couch we'll see we'll see how it goes <laughs> This is also the first time I'm stuffing this health folder. Oh my gosh, I keep saying folder. But it's gonna get $15 today. So $15 for my health envelope. Please remind me to say envelope and not folder. Again, I'm not sure what I'm saving up for, but maybe this will just continue to add up for emergencies or something like that. Hosting is a new envelope that I added. I realized that me and my husband really love to host. So I figured if we started saving up for it, it wouldn't hit us as hard when we do host. But for now, I'm just going to add $10 into this um, envelope and we'll see how it goes then. I can already think of people that we have to host this month. Okay, for travel, again, I'm saving up for a Chicago trip for me and my husband for our friend's wedding. So my first goal is to save up for tickets, plane tickets. And right now my goal is $400 for the tickets, but it might, I might have to save up more because it looks like ticket prices are going up, but we're definitely just going to wait until the end of March to start booking, but 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, and $300 in travel. So the next paycheck, I'm going to add $100 to this and I think I'll be good. But again, it all depends on the ticket prices. Hopefully it goes down. Hmm. Okay, but that's it for travel. Now we're going to go with car maintenance. I know that my oil change needs to happen soon. So I'm going to go ahead and add a 30 in here. By the time I need to do it, it should I should have about 100. Holidays is also going to get stuffed today. It's just going to get $5 since it's so far away. But I do want to start like piling up on this just so that, again, I don't get hit too hard by the time it comes. Birthdays, if you can see all those names and all those amounts, 
there's so many birthdays that I have to plan for in the month of March. So birthdays is going to get $45 today. And it's all going to be allotted to each individual person on that list. Oh my gosh. I don't know why everyone in my life is born in March. It's crazy. But yeah, all these people are going to get birthday gifts. <laughs> okay, let me organize this real quick and we can count it up. So we have, let's see here, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100, 105, and 106 so far for birthdays. I have to save up so much more, but at least it's in March and we have about three paychecks left for February. Okay, another folder. Oh my gosh, I keep saying folder. Another envelope that's going to get stuffed is the electronics envelope. It's going to get $5 today, and I'm going to use five ones for this one. We are currently saving up for the Zelda game that's coming out, I believe, in June. May or June, something like that. Um, but I'm now realizing that the Hogwarts Legacy for the Switch is coming out in May. So I might have to save up for that as well. And then that last envelope is just for extra sticky notes or extra supplies. But that's it for my bills and sinking funds binder. I told you this one's fun. Yeah, as you can see, I still have a lot of cash left on the side. And this is all going towards my 100 envelopes challenge. I am so determined to finish this challenge this year. And most of the cash that's on here is coming from my tips that I get from work, which... If you guys don't know, I'm a barista, and so that's why my channel name is My Cash and Coffee. So I'm going to go ahead and complete the first envelope of this binder, which is the 1 through 10 envelope. And I'm going to reference my 100 envelopes challenge tracker on my bullet journal as well. Um, also, if you want to know how I did this, just let me know and I'll show you guys what I did. But all the things highlighted in green are the things that we're stuffing today. So I believe I have a tracker in the 1 through 10 folder. Oh my god, 1 through 10 envelope. And let me see. There should already be the $1 in here, the $10, and the 5 I know that for sure. But yeah, everything that's circled, so that's 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9 are going to get stuffed. This is going to be a little weird, so forgive me if it's like really messy, but 1, 2, 3... And then I need four. One, two, three, four. And I need five. No, I need six. So that's five and six. Let me put these together. And then seven. So that's five, five, six, seven. And then I need eight. So again, that's five, six, seven, eight. And lastly, I need nine for this envelope. So that's my last five, six, seven. Oh, it's all backwards. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, hopefully that wasn't confusing, but let's count up how much I'm stuffing today. So it's five, 10, 15, 20, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's thirty-seven dollars that I'm stuffing today, and let's see how much it is with the um, amount that's already in there. I'm going to have to condense this too, but we'll just wait on that later. Okay, let me organize this, and like I said, it should be fifty-five dollars at the end. So that's, let's see. I think, I think it's going to be 55. We'll see. So that is going to be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. Awesome. So that works out. Again, I will have to condense this later on, but I'm going to worry about that in the future i'm so happy i'm so happy that the first envelope is finally finished like i said i am so determined to finish this i don't know what we will do with this money but it's probably gonna go towards debt okay now i want to get started on the second envelope so it's just gonna get a 20 dollar bill um but 
I know that it's progressively going to get harder, especially if I'm just putting my tip money in here. We shall see how it goes. Uh, yeah, so that's the first 20 in the 11 through 20 envelope. And I also want to go ahead and get rid of the $100 bill. So I'm just going to put the $100 bill in the 100. No, it's the 99 through 100. Wait, 91 through 100 envelope yeah I'm, I'm not sure how this is gonna go because as i said it's gonna just keep getting harder the more the amounts get higher but i'm gonna keep looking forward and just take this as a w i i love this binder now we've completed stuffing the 1 through 10 envelope we started on the 11 through 20 and started on the 91 through 100 envelope Ooh, i'm so happy I really hope we finish this by the end of this year but as you can see I have already highlighted the amounts that I was going to stuff so that's one two three dollars four five six seven eight nine ten and then I also stuffed 20 and I also stuffed 100 Again, if you guys want me to show you how I did the 100 envelopes challenge page, I'm more than happy to do so. Just let me know down below. But that is the end of our cash stuffing. Uh, $729 for the month of February. This is, again, my second time cash stuffing. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any recommendations or any requests on what to do um, or what video you'd like to see next, please let me know. All the supplies are going to be linked in the description and I'll share with you the video that I made sharing the supplies that I use on the daily for cash stuffing. I hope you guys have a great one and I will see you next time. Bye!